Check this shit out. Now here is a genre of games I never ever play. Flight simulators. While making these reviews, I've intentionally avoided several types of games, such as strategy RPGs because they take too long to play through, and sports games because there's not usually that much to say about them. While I know there's plenty of nuance to simulators, it's just never been something that caught my interest. I mean, how exciting can it be to play yet another game where you're first person flying a plane? Well, let's find out. Ultimate Air Combat was developed by Activision, who made the excellent Galaxy 5000 that I reviewed a few weeks ago, and both Ghostbusters games. Hmm, odds are not great here. Well, to start with, the graphics are pretty amazing. Just really well-drawn animations. And hey, there's even a story. Admiral Cliff Stormdrain turns the lights off for his slideshow presentation and then proceeds to tell the president about Don Guano, a dictator who's hoarding oil or something. You know, the story of every post-Vietnam American conflict. After taking a nap through this snorefest, you get to choose from three planes, a F-18 Hornet, a F-14 Tomcat, or a Harrier Jet. All of these look super dope, very well rendered. I absolutely had some micro machines that looked just like them. Next, you can pick some fuel and missile customizations, but the two options unload or auto arm are a little confusing. After that, take off. Once you leave the aircraft, all these good graphics quickly melt away, revealing the true core of flight sim games, a cockpit with some instruments and a blue sky above with a slightly different blue ocean below. And wow. Once bogeys start popping up on your radar and you try to chase them, those two colors just start spinning constantly while you miss your targets repeatedly. The whole thing is actually quite nauseating. Ooh. You have four missions to choose from, but it doesn't matter which one you pick. They all start on an aircraft carrier and they all feature this blue on blue vomit fest. So hopefully you're not chewing tobacco while playing. I figured out that the easiest way to get past this section is to press nothing at all. Just glide along in cat-like readiness. The enemy planes will just fly one by one directly in front of you and let you shoot them all with one missile. Thanks dudes! After you've destroyed those planes, you'll switch to a new gameplay mode that actually looks and plays a lot like Galaxy 5000, which is to say an isometric viewpoint and a constant grinding of your thumb on the d-pad. This part is pretty rad actually. You fly around a big map looking for the targets and once you find them, you've got to bomb or shoot them along with enemy vehicles, planes, and anti-air missiles. Once you explode something, power-ups will show up, but here's where the big issue with the game appears. Not only is the perspective isometric, but you can also dive up and down. The problem with this is that when one of these items appear on the screen, there's no way to tell what altitude it's at. So you'll be constantly circling around, pulling up and down, and just barely missing these things over and over before they inevitably disappear. This is a huge issue because you have limited bombs and you'll need a ton of them to knock out everything on the ground. You can shoot the targets with the machine gun, but it's very awkward to hit things below you while you're in a moving plane. Of course, after playing this for a while, I realized that there was a reason I was running out of the bombs. I was attacking the wrong things. After several minutes combing every inch of the screen, I noticed this little arrow here. Turns out my mission that I quickly skipped over was to destroy these innocuous looking bridges. Once you realize this objective, these levels are a piece of cake, literally 30 seconds to beat in some cases. After you finish the first four missions, you'll move on to four more missions. I think they may be a little harder or something, but I'm thinking there's just more of the same on repeat from here on out, so I'm just gonna call it. You get the general gist, right? I don't know, this might actually be an okay game. I mean, I'll never play it again or anything, but I think if you're someone who likes the idea of playing Top Gun mixed with Cobra Triangle, coupled with way more awkward controls than both of them put together, you're probably gonna love Ultimate Air Combat. At least this cool guy gives it the thumbs up.